In this video, we're going to do an experiment involving uh, material properties of the wheels. So we're going to, if you have a classroom that you're doing this with, this is an opportunity to get your hands dirty and learn about physics in the process. Uh, a fairly simple lesson uh, to be sure. But the stock sumo kits ship with 3D printed tires. Okay, they're flexible material. Um, I don't offhand, I don't even remember what it is. I share that information on, online. The point is, this is 3D printed. And to be 3D printed, they have to add things into the plastic materials that makes it a little bit more slick so they can even get through the extruder. You know, their advertising scheme isn't, isn't that you can make tires, it's that you that it's flexible. And that's the point. That it's flexible and print, print withable. So that's the point. Um, I... 3D print them because it's nice for automation's sake. I can just print off a dozen at once and just let my machine run and then they go with everything else that's 3D printed. So as an alternative, if you uh, want to improve the properties of your sumo robot, you can check out my other video where I calculate the uh, coefficient of friction, specific, the specific coefficient of friction between this material and the, fight, the ring that you fight on. You can check out those equations and, and see how this matches up with other materials that you can make. So even if you don't have a 3D printer, um, well, I guess you have to have a 3D printer to make this. This is what I put together. It's uh, a mold. So I've got uh, a mold and some, what do I call it, silicone molding putty. This is what you would actually use to make like a flexible mold and then you'd put like epoxy resin in there and you can make little hard casts of things that you want. Well, I'm interested in this material itself. and, and um, it's just so easy to work with. It's got, there's just like two parts. You mix it 50-50. It's not sensitive to concentration. You jam it in there, and then you, you squish these things together and let it dry for half an hour, uh, and you clamp it together. And then when you, you're done, you take it out, and then you like remove the excess around the edges, and you have this stretchy, durable material. It feels like it has a higher friction on it. Uh, as an alternative to this material, this is kind of an out-of-the-box clean material. You can, it, it is kind of expensive though. You can make your own. It's just called Ugu. And some guy came up with it on the internet as an alternative to Suguru, which is a really cool little, it's actually similar to this, but this is mega cheap. Basically one part cornstarch, one part 100% uh, clear silicone. You mix them together. It's, it's really messy. Um, you want to have gloves when you do it or maybe cover your hands in cornstarch because it was it was it was rough but the end product worked really really well so this is uh, a viable alternative if you want to try and mold your own tires to improve the performance so let's see how good that did
robots that are otherwise identical, except the red one has 3D printed tires and the gray one has cast tires. And, uh, go get them. That's determined pretty quickly. You can't push, you just cannot push back. Uh, even feels, oh yeah, it feels like it's pushing with more force too. That's just a significant improvement uh, based on one silly, one little, one little change had a huge impact.